Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Mario RPG. Now that we have our new party member, Mallow, we need to go capture the purple crocodile that apparently stole his coin. I guess he's hidden away in a convenient place called Bandit's Way. Yeah. Yep, there he is. Yep. He seems to be a speedy fellow. Let's see if we can catch up to him. This is also a perfect opportunity to show off Mallow's abilities. Uh, unlike Mario, who is a physical attacker, Mallow relies more on his special attacks, such as his Thunderbolt. He's telling Mario that he can't jump. Um, clearly he doesn't know who's chasing him. But, unfortunately Mario does have to actually use the flower to get up there. Nope, don't want that coin. There we go. And with that we're across. And there's actually a hidden chest right there with a Caro Caro Cola. That's a very useful item that heals your entire party back up to full. Definitely gonna hang on to that. 100 miles ahead of me. Uh, no. He's more like a couple feet. Oop, not that way. Oh, there he is. Right, I know he went that way, but I wanna get up here to get the treasure chest. A couple new enemies, including a frog hog. And a canine. Okay. Just hammer them a couple times. Oh, oh, that hurts. I have to remind myself to kill the canines a lot faster. They hurt. Thankfully there was a healing mushroom in that treasure chest, so all that damage is negated. Uh, Stop by a spiky. But we can clear out this group rather fast with Mallow's Thunderbolt. As you can probably tell, Mallow has great crowd clearing capabilities. It makes battles go a lot faster when there's a lot of them. Looks like we have some slow moving platforms heading towards a treasure chest. Uh, no, actually, it's always a time for a treasure chest, in my opinion. And there's a star which lets us kill everything on the screen. Awesome. As the extra ones just come running into the dune. And we got a free level up out of that, that's cool. Just gonna keep killing a few of these. Oh, there's the second level up. Awesome. And Mario reaches level 3. Get a couple of stats. And we learn Fire Orb. That's very reminiscent of Mario's Fire Flower, Fire Flower ability in the original games. Uh, let's give Mario a little extra attack this time. And Mallow also got a level up from that. And Mallow learns HP Rain. Awesome, our first healing special move. Since Mallow relies on his abilities, we're gonna use... We're gonna boost his special attack a little more. And I'm gonna go see what's in that second treasure chest by speeding up these platforms a little bit. Don't mind me. There we go. It's an extra flower. Awesome. Ah, we finally caught him at a dead end. Maybe he'll actually stop. Or not. He apparently runs a lot faster than we expected. 
Alright, now Mario gets to be sneaky and sneak up behind a crocodile. Whoa, Goomba. Didn't expect that. Hundred more years? Okay, if you think so. Oops. Apparently we've been caught. Let's see if we can sneak around this way. Nope. <laughs> A little quieter. Oh, there we go. Only 50 more years now. And with that, we have him. Oh, who would have thought? A crook lying. Alright. Let's just hammer his face in a little bit. Mallow's weak punch does absolutely nothing. Actually, this is a perfect time to try out Mario's new special ability. As you can see, the time hit for this one is a little different. This one just requires you to mash the little Y button a little bit. Uh, apparently, Croco does not like fire. Alright, let's see if he likes lightning. Uh, that one's a little better. Croco is dousing a tail fire. I guess we caught him on fire, though. Let's try it again. Running a little low on flower points, so let's actually use a honey syrup and get those back up. And we'll just continue pelting in the fireballs. Throw in a lightning bolt. And he should go down pretty quickly at this rate. Weird mushroom? Oh, and he heals himself for 60. Uh, that just negated our fire orb. Alright, one final thunderbolt. Oh, and he's still not dead. And we are out of flower points. That is not a good thing. But that's what we have a hammer for. Pulling out this time. A bomb. Throw bombs at people. We're actually gonna use a mushroom on Mario. We don't want him dying. This crocodile does not want to die. Mallow's a little mad now. If it was that easy to get the coin, why didn't it come out, you know, halfway through the battle when we were punching it? And with that, Croco takes off. And we got Mallow's coin back. And a new flower tab. Awesome. And apparently he stole a wallet, too, that he left behind. Okay. Going back to the shelf of Mushroom Kingdom. Sure, why not? And a convenient trampoline to take us right back to the beginning of the area. And a save block. Definitely don't want to do that fight again, so we'll save really quickly. And we're going to head off to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yep. Or we're going to fight a spiky. Where's that honey syrup a few minutes ago? Actually, since we got an extra flower tap now, let's actually use one of those. Actually, 
Let's use our flower jar just to give us that extra boost. And we'll head back to the Mushroom Kingdom to do some shopping for Mallow. Or not. Apparently the Mushroom Kingdom has been invaded. Fantastic. These are a lot tougher than spikies and frogs. Everyone seems suspicious, of course! Oh, we got 10 coins from that. Okay. Let's go save this guy. I'm just gonna try and save everyone, just to see if we get free items. I mean, why not, right? I do hate shy guys though. Or shysters, sorry. These ones are a couple of six, they're different. Yeah, but shyster. I don't know what makes him different than a regular shy guy, but I guess the pogo stick makes a big difference. Oh, apparently we found this guy's uh, wallet. I guess we'll be nice to give it back to him. For a flower tab? Absolutely. Alright, everyone in here is safe. Oh, I missed him. Oh, apparently he's hitting the house so hard that, uh, he's shaking. Let's take care of that. I'm not going to bother with her, because she was a jerk to us. Let's see if there's one in this house. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them in here. We must save the family! Sorry if these battles are a little repetitive, but it definitely is worth it to save the Mushroom Kingdom as much as possible. Plus the extra EXP points are never a bad thing. Oh jeez, how do you forget about your son? Oh, there's another one here. And he's a scary cat, of course. The sun does not seem scared at all. Oh, to be naive like a child again. Alright, we got Mallow an extra level. Mal has been taking a lot of hits, so we're actually going to give him a little extra HP, just so he's not so squishy. And we got another flower tab. Fantastic. <laughs> that kid seems so excited. But then again, who doesn't want to grow up to be Mario? We're actually going to use one of these flower tabs to heal up our flower points. And we're going to give Mario a mushroom just so he doesn't have that extra damage going. That should be everyone outside the castle, but it looks like the shysters are actually coming from the castle, so you can expect a lot of fun in here. It's 
Speaking of, there goes a toad being chased. Oh wow, that's doing a lot more damage now. That level really helps. Everyone's hiding in the princess's bedroom. Alright, well, we'll definitely stop by there in a second. For now, let's help this vault guard. Completely, we should definitely check in the vault. See if they left any goodies down there. Last of the chai get out of my way, I want my treasures. <laughs> Alright, we can get Mario level up, that's awesome. We're actually going to get some Mario's extra attack power this time. And we're going to go raid the vault again, because it looks like all three treasures are actually back, with the ten coins, and the flower, and the healing mushroom again. So, that's fantastic. Oh, apparently that's not even the vault guard. The vault guard is apparently hiding in this room. In the corner. He gave us a wake-up pin. Alright, that's not a bad accessory that'll actually keep us from falling asleep. Uh, let's give that to Mallow, just because he has healing abilities, so that'll definitely help us out. Now let's go check up on the princess's bedroom and make sure everyone's alright up there. Apparently he's okay with just passing by one of them. I guess we can too. Trapped again. Oh, these ones talk! Can't even bounce. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mario can jump higher than you guys. Just, just my assumption though. I haven't seen Mario actually do a jump off against a pogo stick. But, who needs to jump when you have a lightning bolt? And a free honey syrup. Awesome. Um, you can give me more flower tabs. Uh, I'd be okay with that. It looks like the Chancellor is trapped in the throne room. That's not good. Well, of course, I'm Mario. Do I have to? Ah! So he goes with the flower tab anyway. Alright, I guess I can't sleep in the bed, but she heals me anyway, so that's awesome. We're gonna make a quick save here. Because where there's people coming out of a castle, you always know that's trouble. Walk right by this guy, and head straight up to the throne room. Sneak by him. And <laughs> those guys aren't even paying attention very well. And if you look on your top, you can actually see the Chancellor cowering in a corner. I just want to sit there and bounce? Okay, I'll bounce right in. And what is that? Apparently he can bounce too. 
His name is Mac. Alright. You picked the wrong people not to bounce with. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure I can bounce. A fat lip to go with the ugly mustache. Alright. Alright, this is a, definitely an interesting boss fight. But since we know Mallow can take care of the Shysters with just a Thunderbolt, we'll take care of them really quick. Or these ones are a lot stronger. That does not bode well for our heroes. <laughs> Mac is stunned. Uh, I guess Mac does not like electricity. Which is fantastic, since Thunderbolt is a lot cheaper to use than fire. Well, looks like he uses fire abilities himself, so it's a good thing we're not using fire against him. Uh, let's actually jump on his head, since they keep saying I can't bounce. Let's show him otherwise. Couple flame walls. Yeah, that won't do too much. Mario's taking quite a bit of damage from that since he doesn't have as much magic defense as Mallow, though. But not so much that we have to be worried. Mario's getting a little low, so we're actually going to heal him up with HP Rain. And just like that, we're back at full HP. And he has more minions. Oops, nope, not HP Rain. We want a Thunderbolt. Oh, and Mac takes off on us? How rude. Alright, let's actually use a ma mushroom on Mallow. Keep him healthy while Mac's away. And we got a free one. And with another Thunderbolt. There's Mac. And he just decides to cast Flame Wall again. Oh, uh, he's so annoying. At least he missed Mario, so we don't have to deal with the extra damage. Running low on flower points, so we're actually going to use a honey syrup to keep Mallow's attack going. And we got a free one of those too. Awesome. I mean, who complains about free items? It's like going to the store and getting free food. As you can tell, Mac isn't really so much a hard boss fight as it just is tedious because it's such a low level and you don't do a lot of damage to him. But he's pretty easy to take down, gives us a little experience points and a couple coins that we can go shopping with later. And it looks like we found a star. Not similar to the same star that we found in the treasure chest earlier. If you guess, this is one of the uh, seven stars in the title. Mario claims the first star for himself. Oh, looks like those two shysters were just watching the entire time. The statue one is strong, well of course, I'm Mario. <laughs> Why 
warn the boss. I thought Mac was your boss. Apparently it's someone else pulling the strings. Darn right, you owe me a lot. First the princess, and this. Yeah, the Mushroom Kingdom seems to get itself in a lot of trouble now. I must rescue the princess, and apparently defeat whoever was attacking the Mushroom Kingdom as well. Looks like we're off to Tadpole Pond. And there goes Mallow's short memory again, not even remembering why he's here. Guess he'll find out. It's a good thing we remember that he came here to go shopping. Sword-like monster? Okay, I guess that's what you can call him, he's a sword. That bounces. And we're headed towards the Caro Sewers. Pass its way to Tadpole Pond. But we're gonna go shopping first, because otherwise Mallow would never remember. Well, actually, let's go see if the Vault Guard wants to give us more stuff. Nope. Oh well, we tried. Alright. Head off to the store. I was starting to worry. Yeah, okay. And we bought a cricket pie with Mallow's coin. That that doesn't sound appetizing at all. Then again, Mallow does call himself a frog, so I guess it might work. Actually, while we're here. We're gonna buy some pants for Mallow, as well as a couple extra honey syrups. And just like that, we are off to Tadpole Pond, or Caro Sewers at first. out for Bellome, whoever that is, okay. And down the pipe. That'll be it for this episode. I hope you join me in the next one, where we traverse the Caro sewers, find out who this Bellome character is, and eventually reach Tadpole Pond. As always, leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you want to keep watching this Let's Play. See you next time.